Hi, welcome to vlog three. It is a warm and balmy Saturday morning. We actually got a ram last night, a new ram, and we wanted to take a video and some pictures of him last night, but by the time we got him in and settled, it was dark and we didn't want to put any lights and stuff in there. So we thought we would just show you this morning because Isaiah's also been out since daybreak. Yep, um, before daybreak. Before whatever. Um, putting some water line in the ground with the trencher we had to rent for one weekend because if we rented it longer it'd be super expensive. It already is expensive. And so he's been out putting that in and hopefully gets it all in in time before we have to return it. But we were going to show you a little bit first of the new ram and tell you about why we had to get a ram really for two reasons. First, he, you can explain this better than me. Go ahead. Yeah, so we, we did have a ram before this guy showed up yesterday. But uh, last winter he ended up dying and killing himself in the fence. Unintentionally, it, was, it wasn't suicide. Yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> Unfortunately, he was a really good ram. Um, but, uh, so yeah, we had to get a new ram, and the guy who shears my sheep, <clears throat> he raises his own wool sheep, so I talked with him, and we worked out a deal, and we're gonna get ready to put this ram in with the, uh, with the flock of ewes, uh, so they can all get bred to lamb in the spring. Uh, this ram is a uh, Sam Marino crossed with Corydale. Uh, it's two really good wool breeds, and they're also good for meat. So we're definitely pretty excited about how he's gonna, you know, how he's gonna produce, and it'll be fun to see what kind of lambs he throws uh, this coming spring, 2020. It's called Sam. It's S A M M. It's South African Meat Merino, and so the They've been bred for meat rather than wool, and so their wool is less, less has less like wrinkle and crinkle in it. So that's kind of nice when, I think even for wool it's easier to work with. But, um, and so he named him Sam S A M M Sam the Ram. So that's perfect. But tell them, tell them why um, we had to get a new ram anyways. Yeah. So with. You know, sheep and, you know, with a lot of animals, you want to be careful with inbreeding. Um, so, you know, it was, it was about time for us to get a new ram anyway. And, you know, this guy obviously comes from a diff completely different flock. So, it'll be a whole new line of sheep coming from him. So. All right, we're going to go let him out of the barn. We kind of let him rest and chill out in there overnight just to kind of settle down from his trip, even though he came from, what, 45 minutes away or so? Uh, it was about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. So, not too far, but we're going to let him out and see how he does. <laughs> He's like, where's the ladies? I saw the ladies. When he pulled in, uh, the sheep shear who brought him brought him to the other side of the farm where the sheep were and all the female sheep like ran towards the gate like finally a oh, man hi buddy for our next video we wanted to show you guys the ram meeting the ewes and pasture however just like an hour or two after we shot the ram going into his new pasture we were going to move him then into the open pasture with the ewes he ran away so as i was leaving i actually saw him in the middle of the road and a neighbor called and um said that they saw our sheep and it ended up just being the ram thank goodness um in their property so we kind of had everybody mom and pops and isaiah and a little bit me and lyle help get the ram back but he finally got back got back into the pasture and um, we met him right away with the ewes so that he didn't want to run away anymore and he's happy and they're all still together now a week later so um, that was a little bit crazy but yeah and Isaiah is still working on the wa uh, water line this is a whole Saturday later than our last clip for you and he'll update you a little bit of that and I'll let you know what else we've been doing all week long. So busy that we haven't been able to, um, hi Kitty. We haven't been able to finish up our vlog. Go ahead. Yeah, last Saturday we rented a, a machine to drench the water line and spent all day Saturday and actually part of the day Friday uh, running the machine, drenching the water line about four foot below ground level 
and after all day Saturday running the machine we <coughs> had to deal with a lot of cave-in issues so with the original plan was to have almost everything done by the end of the day Saturday but I ended up working on it all day Sunday as well and still had a lot left because the ground just kept caving in certain areas and that meant a bunch of hand digging so uh, Monday night I worked on that a little bit after work and then again Thursday I spent another couple hours digging that and as it stands right now we've probably still got another full day's work of with two people digging by hand uh, just a lot of issues with it caving in Hopefully. so <laughs> so yeah that's gotten super drawn out you know I was hoping for you know roughly a, a day or two of work doing the water line but it's turned into you know four or five days and we're still not done yet so sometimes it's the way it goes but you keep pressing on and you know hopefully we'll get it in before the ground freezes it looks like this is the what <coughs> excuse me this is the last week we'll be able to work on it before things start freezing up so we'll see how it goes uh, goes tomorrow and hopefully get it all in wish us luck yeah so Monday morning he worked on the water line Monday evening what did we do Monday yeah so Monday I also had to go to the meat processor uh, to pick up some meat for one of our customers who wanted it fresh and not frozen so I uh, I went in Monday and picked that up and then Tuesday night we packed orders Wednesday we do every other Wednesday we do a delivery route to the Eastern Burbs so that's what we did Wednesday Thursday night he worked on the water line for a little bit again and then Friday night he, we picked up the frozen meat so it's been a little bit crazy and when we got the frozen meat back there's always some changes um, from what you ordered from the processor so we had to jump online and of course update inventory and change some items because of those changes and this morning we it's Saturday and we went to um, visit Spence Farms Marty and Will Spence they were actually in the documentary sustainable some of you have probably seen it and um, we messaged them when we watched the documentary if they would be up for us coming and visiting their farm because they do um, things quite a bit differently than most farmers and we were super interested in what they were doing. This cat really doesn't like me. Um, and so we went down, Lyle also went with us and visited their farm this morning and we're really interested and really encouraged by what they're doing there. Marty and Will have really put together a, a cooperative, if you will, of a bunch of different farmers in the area that farm sustainably and um, kind of get all, get all their products together and coordinate delivery to chefs all around the Chicagoland area and by doing that they you know essentially employ in a way um, or you know not directly 60 farmers so that's pretty awesome and um, it's definitely different than your typical CSA or farmers market farming model and something we're definitely interested in doing and just learning more about and I love the the aspect of community that he can generate there and education amongst other farmers and they do some seed saving and um, we had to spend two and a half hours with them which was extremely generous they are very busy people and so we really appreciate it we actually wanted to take some film and, and photos while we were there however we left our memory card here so that didn't happen sorry but I think we're gonna go back next June they have oh my gosh <laughs> They have a um, kind of like an education conference. Yeah, it's like a two-day class where they essentially go over their whole system of how they operate their farm and they're cooperative with these other farmers. Super intensive and I don't know, maybe we'll end up going to it. Yeah, I hope we go. We'll see. So that has been our extremely crazy, busy, long week and how this vlog has stretched from one weekend to uh, one week, a little over a week. So we're gonna leave you with some footage of the water system, what we're putting in and hopefully we'll finish up tomorrow. Otherwise, bye-bye. This weekend, we're getting the, line, the trenches dug and this water pipe will be getting dropped in. Let's see if I can show you a quick kind of example here.
Laying out all this pipe on the pasture was a really good time. So yeah, you know, we'll just be <laughs> dropping the pipe in like that. And we've got about 5,000 feet to do. So hoping to get it all done today because it's forecasted to rain tomorrow. But if we don't get it done today, we'll be, be out in the rain tomorrow.